What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. You know how the saying goes, when it rains, it pours, even if your name is Lisa Vanderpump. The Bravo megastar um, might actually be suffering from a bankruptcy when it comes to one of her restaurants, particularly named Villa Blanca. And that actually comes from a really good reality television blogger by the name of Tamara Tattles. So Tamara Tattles originally broke a story like a couple of months ago about how um, the windows at Villa Blanca had signage on them, saying that the restaurant was closed for repair Hairs, refurbishments and different things like that and that they were also painted over so you couldn't see exactly what was going on in terms of the renovations that they claimed to be undergoing well now it looks like that might have actually been a lie not the report that Tamara Tattles did but like the um, reasoning behind the blacked out windows of Villa Blanca according to Tamara Tattles um, there might actually be a bankruptcy currently in the works apparently allegedly I should say Ken and Lisa have been uh, silently trying to sell off their restaurant to another like restaurant tour but haven't been having much luck and that is why they may allegedly be looking towards a bankruptcy in order to vacate the business so um, before we get into that maybe some backstory on why they might be undergoing some kind of financial trouble particularly when it comes to this restaurant shall we a couple of years ago in 2014 to be exact a waitress at villa blanca actually sued lisa ken in the restaurant alleging that she faced sexual discrimination within the workplace and she actually won the lawsuit and her victory was um, in the form of one hundred thousand dollars in addition to ken and lisa having to pay off her lawyer's fees um, she won because it turned out that allegedly ken had destroyed the video footage that would have proven that she dealt with sexual harassment within the workplace and so the jury was kind of like well you know she's alleging that she went through sexual harassment on this day and now we're finding out that video um, surveillance from the restaurant specifically from this day had been destroyed what the hell else can we believe other than that she is telling the truth and that you guys are trying to hide what happened to her even the general manager of the restaurant testified against Ken to say that yes, he did indeed um, destroy the footage that day. The Tamara Tattles articles reads, and I quote, Andrew Morrison, the general manager of Villa Blanca at the time of the incident, stating that Ken wanted to be sure that the footage did not get released to the media was sufficient evidence to prove malice intent. And that was the golden ticket, the, 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 the what do you call it, the shot buzzer, score clock whatever that um, the waitress needed in order to win her case and when did she ever as for why Ken did not want the media to get a hold of the footage he said that it was because um, when the the trial the the lawsuit was already starting to be publicized within the media they noticed that revenue was dropping and so he felt as though allegedly by the way um, if the footage got out there then it would destroy his business entirely and um you know uh, it seems like that was more than enough to get the the jury to decide to award this woman the damages that she deserved for suffering within that restaurant um so maybe you know the amount of money that they had to pay out to her uh both in terms of her actual judgment and in terms of her lawyer's fees coupled up with the loss in revenue because of the harassment making it to the press and people not wanting to patronize a restaurant that would allegedly by the way alleged harassment and not wanting to patronize a restaurant that would allegedly foster this kind of a hostile discriminatory work environment for a young woman um, all of those things coupled together and then of course remember the times that we're currently living in this is coronavirus right so um, a lot of restaurants are shutting down anyway because they have not had the amount of like cash reserves to keep them afloat while they're shut down for multiple months on end and this 
just compounds onto the problems that they were already dealing with. If any of this is in fact true, by the way, about them shutting down the restaurant and filing for bankruptcy. Heading back to that Tamara Tattles article, she says that she's got a couple of sources on the ground over there in um, LA and her sources talk to some other business owners who own businesses, whether they're restaurants or stores or whatever, near Villa Blanca, and they got a little bit of intel from them. Here's what she said. The spy was told that despite the other commercial tenants and the Vanderpump slash Todd's getting rent concessions due to the coronavirus, Lisa and Todd have called it quits. One business owner nearby suggested that LVP could no longer afford the rent after quitting the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Also, one neighbor referred to Ken Todd having more debt than he can carry, and if Vanderpump rules gets canned, the alleged debts that the Beverly Hills streets are saying this couple has could prove to be devastating. You know, I think it's very interesting that um, Lisa losing her job on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills would lead someone to believe that she is in financial trouble. Because in my opinion, if there was ever a housewife who didn't actually need the Beverly Hills money or Real Housewives money period, it was Lisa Vanderpump. I think the only thing she needed from Bravo is the publicity in order to keep popularity within her restaurants. She's kind of got like the Disneyland of restaurants where people love seeing it on the show. Um, she's got the Vanderpump rules where her waiters are characters on a show. So it's like meeting your favorite like cartoon or whatever in person, actor or whatever in person. So I don't think that her no longer getting a salary or a paycheck from Housewives of Beverly Hills would keep her broke at all like her lifestyle you've seen her house you've seen villa rosa like there's no way she could keep that up on a beverly hills salary no absolutely not however and we've already seen when it comes to her show vanderpump rules firing stars um stashi schroeder uh kristen dowdy max boyan the other one um like it might actually turn out that that show would need to be canceled, whether it's the following season or after that. But I still don't think that even losing both Bravo checks, Lisa would go broke. Especially considering the fact that uh, Villa Blanca was not even really heavily featured on the show. Like she only focused on promoting Sir of her restaurant. So I'm just not seeing it in that way. Though, you know, I'm not saying that there's no way that this restaurant could have gone bankrupt or whatever. Like anything is always possible. You know, it is very possible to live above your means. It is very possible that um, wealthy people use bank bankruptcies strategically as well. So that absolutely is a possibility, but I don't believe this source attributing it to her losing her job on the Housewives of Beverly Hills and potentially losing her other show Vanderpump Rules. I think that it would be something way different from there. Like maybe they overstretched themselves in like other respects, but it, no, I, I don't buy it that way. Anyway, you guys, what do you think about the intel that Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant may be undergoing a bankruptcy and that she may be trying to sell it off. Do you believe that the $100,000 plus judgment that they had to pay out to a former waitress um, in a sexual discrimination case has to do with any of this? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.